What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, 6K, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I know it's been a minute since I posted some content, but I've been getting motivated to post again, so you guys can expect some videos. All right, so for today's video, we're going to be playing Arkin. I think that's how it's said. The Arkin. I could be saying it wrong, but this map just came out yesterday, and we're going to be trying it out for what seems like the first time, but it isn't really. This map came out yesterday, and... They didn't really give us a lot of information about it other than that it was going to be the final map of Vanguard Zombies and the last Zombies map we're going to probably get until the Treyarch Call of Duty comes out, which will be in two years time. But this map, if you're not familiar with Vanguard Zombies, it is basically a map that came out earlier in the year. I remember what they called it, but it wasn't a round-based zombie map. That was Terra Mephil... Mephil... I don't even know how to say the map names, man. But it was just like a sunnier version of this map and what they decided to do was make it a round based map open it all up know if they've made any changes to it or if they just made it they just added doors also check out this freaking thing this is the laser gun they added yesterday the ex9 i believe it's called this thing literally shoots laser beams. It has three different versions of it. One is a sniper rifle, one's an AR, and one's like a burst AR. So that's very cool. I can't wait to use this in Warzone. EX-1 is the name of the gun. EX-1, okay. So let's go explore and see what we got around here. Honestly, this is like basically my first time playing this. So I've played the non-round based version of this map a ton of times, and it's pretty good. It's really good for getting camos. I don't know how good the this version is gonna be yeah let's let's talk about vanguard zombies for a second here at the beginning of the year obviously i bought vanguard because i like to make content on call of duty so i'm gonna buy the game um immediately zombies was hated on because there was no round based map it was dur on fang where a lot of people call it dur on fun because it wasn't very fun it was a super dark map they had these instead of it had rounds but in order to go through the rounds you had to do these challenges and the challenges would be like a few zombies you gotta transmit something you gotta fight off a horde of zombies you gotta do these rituals it's it wasn't very difficult but it wasn't the normal zombies that everyone was used to people did not enjoy it as much as the previous versions of call of duty zombies see so after what we played in cold war zombies where it was brand new maps for the most part. Cool Easter eggs with boss fights. Uh, at the beginning of the year, there was none of that. We had one map, no boss fight, no Easter egg. I never, I never did it if it had an Easter egg. It was just a normal zombies mode without the round base. We take a couple months later, we got Terra Mathilda, whatever that map name is, which is this map, but just daytime. That was another version of the non round base maps. And at that point, everyone was like, all right, enough is enough. I don't want to play that. We don't enjoy that. But they did add a boss fight and an Easter egg, which, again, didn't do. Still don't know how to do it to this day. Probably will never will because I don't enjoy Vanguard Zombies that much. Maybe around March was when I started playing the mode because I got really bored. And I was like, let's see how tough it is to get Dark Aether. Dark Aether is probably, in this game, one of the harder camos to get. Not that it's hard, it just takes an insane amount of time. I don't see how a normal person, someone that just plays Call of Duty one hour a day, maybe, if that one, like maybe three hours a week, how they would unlock Dark Aether. Like, I've been grinding for it since March, and I just unlocked it yesterday. It's August, and I would say I put some some hours into it. After Terra Mephilda, they were like, yeah, we should probably add a round based map. They added Shinonuma was in the original World at War Zombies and has obviously been reintroduced as a remaster a bunch of different times. It gave maybe a little bit of life to zombies, got a lot of people hyped. And that brings us to yesterday or, or last week to be sure. They announced that we're getting a new map. Tell us what it's called. They say it's the final map of zombies. Maybe I should have read more into it and I would have known that it was just a remake i checked zombies i heard that this map was coming out i wanted to try it out and see what was good about it as soon as i loaded in and i saw that it was the same map that we already played just a round based version of it i honestly wanted to just not play not play it and i didn't played something else i wouldn't played nhl i wouldn't played anything else i don't know what i was expecting 
I got clickbaited, like, and I know a lot of their effort goes towards Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 is coming out soon. Obviously, that's what's going to get priority right now. Maybe just a little bit of effort towards this game. All I'm going to say is it sucks. There doesn't seem to be any new areas as well, so it's literally just the non-round based map just made into be a round based map, unfortunately. Let me finish this map off. I'll show you guys the the ritual opening pack a punch and that'll probably do it for today's video. But let me know what you guys think about Vanguard Zombies. If you played it, did you enjoy it? If you've never played it, do you ever plan on trying it out? Like if it was free, would you even waste your time? But here we go. Let's see if we can open this pack a punch. I think I just have to kill the explosive boys. There you go. So that is the ritual. Pack a punch then becomes available. I'm pretty sure a podium comes out, yeah, and then you can stop trying to reload. And then you place that and then you get this. If you haven't seen this, this is Pretty cool. Look at his toes. Ew. Give me them toes. See ya. That's as far as I've gotten on this map uh, so far. I've opened Pack a Punch and I've seen that. And I don't plan on doing the Easter egg. I might. You know, I might try it for a video. We'll see if I'm uh, feeling good enough. But that is going to do it for today's video. I basically showed you guys the whole map if you haven't already seen it. It's very open let's uh let's just pack a punch this bad boy so you can see guys to see the camo that looks so blocky <laughs> but that that's gonna do it i appreciate you guys i hope you have a wonderful day and 